better? Did that work? For some odd reason, my mute button was flashing. I've never had that before. Can everybody hear? I'm going to give it a second. Okay. Sweet. Hi, everybody. I just wanted to hop on here and say, hey, how's it going? There's a bunch of cool toy news. There's a bunch of cool pre-orders. There's almost too many. Um, but yeah, no, I figured it'd be fun. Uh, my current obsession... Motu, because Revelations dropped today, and sweet sassy molassy. Uh, I uh, marathoned all five episodes already that are up, and yes, it's good. Um, I really enjoyed it. Uh, but yes, hello to Panther10, hello to Bryman, Brendan McCarthy, Pale Aragorn Comics, Ingram, Luca Rocks Was Shaken, uh, Quintillion, uh, Jazzy McGee, uh, oh man, Mr. Link, whoa, my chat keeps jumping, what the hell? Um, but yes, hello everybody. Nimrodica, what's shaking? Uh, Dave, did, do you pre-order Mondo Meme Wolverine? I didn't. Um, I wanted to, and then I remembered I got the Mondo Batman the Animated Series Deluxe Batman when it came out, uh, and I I didn't have good luck with it. It was a really badass figure. Um, I I just like playing with my toys too much, um, so I um, I passed on it. Little little extra coin to save uh, for something else. No spoilers, Paler. Everyone, don't worry. Uh, I was just saying it's really good. What up? Okay, Noogie, Noogie, Noogie. I don't know how to pronounce your name, man. If you can put it phonetically in the chat, I just want to make sure I'm pronouncing it right, bro. Um, what's up, Tussler? You want to come on, bro? I'll, I can shoot you the link. You let me know. Uh, did you see Data Toys uh, Leopard? I did. I, that's nice. Uh, I pre-ordered the Black Suit Black Widow from Black Widow today, my second Hot Toys. Yeah, hell yeah. Uh, I have that one on on order. I'm very excited. Um, I don't have any MFX figures. How much is that Cyborg Superman going to be, guys? Ah, uh, hold on. We can look it up. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. I almost looked up Spider-Man instead of Superman. Force of habit. Um, Noogie? All right, cool, man. Right on. Got my con exclusive scarecrow. I'm jealous. I had it. I after yeah. I wish I would have. But um, to Cyborg Superman 104.99 on BBTS right now. Um, Dave, did you get the He-Man figure? If so, will you try and switch that? I already did. Uh, I modified a Sentry head and then used the factory hair. Um, although I'm going to repaint it already because the skin tone looks off. Um, <coughs> Did you get the exclusive one with the Taskmaster shield? I did. Um, it wasn't that big a difference, and I'm thinking I might make a comic version of Taskmaster or an Udon Crew version because that's the version I like. I liked it. I liked the version in the film, but uh, the Udon Crew one is like mm, right there. I'm about about to watch Motu do it. It's so good. Um, it's so good. Um, no, not all of Mondo's figures because they do a bunch of like vinyls and stuff too. Uh, so not all of them are are one six scale. Um, they do predominantly right now their figures, like their actual action figures, are one six scale. <coughs> are you getting any Mondo new releases? They revealed that uh, Revelation Skeletor today, and sweet sassy molassy, that looks quite uh, quite nice. Um, but uh, yeah, um, I I have the, the thing is I, I have. Uh, right there. Those are all the Mondo Turtles. Those were their first releases. Uh, I have those. I ha I've had their Iron Giant. I've ha I've actually had two of their Iron Giants. Um, I, I ended up moving both of them um, just for space. Um, I had He-Man and Skeletor. I ended up selling both of those as well. Um, just again, to re in refining the collection a couple random times. I'm thinking of getting Mondo Creature from the Black Lagoon. Dude, that figure is sick. I got to kind of futz around with it at the shop the other day, and um, I'm itchy for it. Um, I have a... Um, <coughs> I'm going to say Elmo a lot tonight, I guess. Uh, I have the um, Carla Frankenstein from Sideshow from back in the day, and um, I might get the creature to go with it, because those were two of my favorite um, monster movies. Skeletor looks good. I like it better than the Mattel one. I agree. Um, the, the funny thing is... Um, so... The custom that I did, that is actually an Udon Crew Taskmaster head sculpt that I dremeled off the back of and fit into the existing hood and then painted up. Um, I am actually going to have a custom cape from my buddy Sam. 
uh, eventually. So I'm very stoked to add that too. And I, I was one of those guys who I'm like, I don't know if I want Skeletor to have a cape, but uh, in the series, it looks badass. I don't like it. Uh, I'm so glad I mostly pre-order MathX figures. I'm fairly patient with figures, so it's nice to spread out my pre-orders. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> Over a millennia or two. Uh, I hope we get a Yelena at some point. I'm curious as to how she'll look in her upcoming appearance. I, I agree. <laughs> um, oh, where'd they go? Uh-oh. I had Black Widow and Red Guardian and Milena. Where did I put them? <laughs> Not crazy. I'm looking up at my my shelves. And I legit... Man, them some sneaky assassins. I tell you what. Oh, there they are. It's because I hadn't put them back on the normal shelf. No capes. Um, but Black Widow and her, and her mama. Um, this is actually the um, ooh, Quantum Suit 2-pack head um, uh, on the movie body um, because I didn't want to spoil and get the SH figure. It's one. Milena is stock. Um, Red Guardian is still hanging from his grappling hook that I hung up uh, one of the toys with the boys on Wednesday, <laughs> and I, I just want to leave them up there. It makes me happy. Uh, how's the Netflix Motu show? I've been scared to watch it. Do it. It's so fucking good. Um, I really enjoyed. <laughs> they did escape. That's how good a spy is. Right? They just blend right in. Uh, I thought the big sky thing in Black Widow was when the movie started going off the rails a bit. Man, I liked it. Um, it it had. Um, I like Black Widow though, so like the kind of over the top spy movie stuff, I really really enjoyed. Uh, do you re repaint all your heads? No. Um, this this is legit. Just stock. Um, the stock head. Um, I was going to strip off the blonde. Let's see. Come on. Focus. Anyways. No. I don't repaint everything. Um, just the ones that I really like. Since he is on with Wade tonight. Oh, no. I didn't realize that. Um, maybe I will raid them. Should I, should I read? I can't read them. They're on YouTube only. Damn it. Wade, get on Twitch. Hold on. YouTube.com. Friday night with Cincy Nerd. God damn it. <laughs> Maybe I should read them. Nah, they, I don't think, I don't think Wade has the overlay ready. Um, did you see my comment on your recent Instagram post? You have to be more specific. I think I did. Maybe. Mm, just let me know which one. Um... I repainted that head to match your look in the film. I can't wait to make a video on it. Nice. Yeah, I, uh, I, I'm just gonna. I think I'm gonna strip off the the blonde on her ponytail, and that's about all I really want to do because I just I love that costume. Um, do it. It's, it's worth it. It's it's super fun. I'm a huge uh, 2000X guy uh, from from uh, He Man, so I I had a pretty high standard going into this. I also watched the the cartoon growing up. Um, and I didn't know what to expect. I mean, the voice cast is stunning. Um, the animation is great. And the story is really, really, really fun. Like, the five episodes went by like that. So I was, I was legit surprised. Um, but it was, it was super, super fun. But, um, yeah, the post you posted about 25 minutes ago. The one about coming on at 9? Hold on. Boop. Uh, hey, Cranky Monkey, what's shaking? Uh, the only one I posted on. Oh, what's it? Ah, uh, you sneaky devil. I can't sing that on here because if I do, boom, copyright strike. That's how good I am. Uh, he did a lovely Jack Skellington parody. Um, but what up, Smitty? Um, Cranky Monkey. Um, so you didn't mind the death in Motu? I didn't. Um... The ones that were in there was really, really cool. Drunk Ismo, what's shaking? Um, it's, it's hanging well. Um, my It's actually my wife's birthday on Sunday, so she's actually out with one of her friends right now for the first time in a long time. And my kiddo's over at uh, the in-laws for a sleepover, and all my friends were busy tonight, and I was like, yo, I'll hop on and check in with the consortium and have some fun. So here I am. <laughs> um, so yeah, I, I, like I said, I figure I'll be on maybe about an hour. Um, I will say... I eagerly await uh, Orko to come out for Revelations because I like that um, that uh, that look. 
But until then, my 2000X Orco is uh, serving its purpose. Pick this one up on Wednesday um, and absolutely love this look. <laughs> Girls night and you get a solo night. Yeah, and I didn't know what to do, so I ended up streaming. <laughs> Who knew? Um, now, I have plenty of projects and I was cleaning and I, I don't know. I just felt like being social, but it's really flipping hot today. It's like it feels like it's 100 degrees outside and everybody's just feeling lazy. Cranky Monkey, it's your birthday today. Happy 44, dude. Have a great day. Happy birthday to you, my friend. Luca Rocks has got to do it solo without the car out. Hey, now. Um, that carpal tunnel, bro. Um, the consortium just need a large table. I would have preferred the voice of Corey Burton for Skeletor in the New Revelation. Dude, you know, I thought Mark Hamill killed it. I'm just putting it out there. It was muggy. On, uh, dude, yeah, right? It legit felt like 100 degrees here today, and it was, like, thick. You went outside, and it was just nasty. So um, I stayed inside most of the day, which was weird because I'm used to kind of being out and about. But if, you know, around the estate, in other words, in, in the backyard, hanging out on the porch. Uh, Kevin Conroy in Merman, or as Merman was dope. I actually really liked it. And also, hey, Mitch, how's it going, man? Sorry, I didn't let you know I was hopping on. Um, but yeah, no, Mer I, dude, Conroy as Merman, I legit was jarred by at first and then legit ended up absolutely loving. So, whoa, what's buzz buzzing me? Oh, hey, we're done. Um, but I did want to pop up a few images. Uh oh, my worry is that I'll pre-order Monto creature and then also get the neck eventually. Why not both? Baby, baby creature from the Black Lagoon. How many episodes is this, or is it like a movie? Uh, five episodes are, were uploaded today, and I think the other five are in a month or two, if I remember. I, I I'm not positive on that uh, release date, but. I did want to bring this up because Bro Thor or uh, Robust Thor um, came out overseas today, and I just tried to click on the shared screen because I'm dumb. But I just wanted to run through some pictures real quick of this insane-looking hot toy. Um, absolutely stunning. Um, yeah, I I I was legit surprised. And now I'm kind of bummed I didn't pre-order it, but um, yeah, this thing is insane looking. Quintillion, well, I guess I need a third Black Widow figure. Yeah, dude, though, right? It's it's so dope looking. <laughs> I think the only one that I'll have actually is Endgame Cap out of the three of these. But um, yeah, it's real nice looking. A couple awesome other uh, reveals and figures. Just flipping sweet. Um, again, they, they've just been killing it. Mysterio came out too with the Jake Gyllenhaal head, which they had not um, revealed up until now. Just, yeah. I like hot toys. Uh, hot toys are so nice. I don't even want to touch them. Dude, I, you know, I thought this, that I would be the same way, and I pose mine around all the time. Um, I can't wait for them to make a Mighty Thor after Love and Thunder Jane for anyone who might be even familiar. I actually have a custom up there. That is actually Mighty Thor. That is Jane Foster Thor. Got old fishbowl, right? Can't wait for me. Yeah, that Mysterio is, is flipping insane looking. Um, it will be mine. Uh, one second, Luke Rocks can't suit. Let me, let me pull up images. Oh, that's not what I wanted to pull up. <laughs> There's a lot of interesting um, images if you pull up Leopard Agent. But I believe this is the one that you were talking about. Boop. So uh, Killer Killmonger um, in his tactical suit. Um, third party release. Looks insane. Super, super stoked um, about that. I have the, the factory one. I've thought about getting one of the one or two of the third party ones, um, but yeah, people dislike that Jake sculpt. But I think it's just the eyes. That, yeah, and honestly, I've seen it with um, the glasses on, and it looks insanely cool. Uh, head sculpt is wow. Do you have a favorite third party custom one six kit figure? Um, the one that I always put out there is my custom comic version of Spidey. Um, that's that's a custom. 
um, just but that's also because I made it. It was such a cool feat when I got it done um, that I was pretty stoked about it. Um, let's see. I don't know. Third party. You know, th that's just a stock third party figure. I think I would probably have to go with, I want to, I'm trying, I'm just blanked on the, the manufacturer, but it is a Luke Cage figure and it's, it's great. Uh, where do you guys get third party fix from? Uh, I use TNS figures or one sixth kit R two that I use frequently. Um, Toys Wonderland used to have a lot of them, but uh, apparently their site got shut down um, by a large American company. I'm guessing sideshow. I don't know that for sure, but apparently they're having issues of some sort, which is a bummer because uh, I like their stuff. Ah, oh, shit. Black Beauty. It's a doppelganger. No. The other two are in the wash. This is actually, uh, yeah, see, the hair's too long. It doesn't do the wow uh, stand up. This is uh, for Dragonfly Wireless. Um, just a cool, cool logo. Good people. This is my, this is my sleek after dark look. Stealthy. I know. Um, uh, evil, Dave. No, very nice. Very evil. Um, um, just saw pics of the Mondo Skeletor. Wow, just wow, right? Uh, one Six Outfitters is good too. I've only ordered from them once. Um, I'm part of the TNS figure group, and I use that one pretty frequently. Just saw the 12 inch man thing. <laughs> Um, yeah, no, it's the Mondo, Mondo, Mondo man thing is insane. Um, let's see, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me pull up Mondo Skeletor. <coughs> Come on. I had a bunch of images saved and then they kept freezing my computer for some reason. Didn't even mean for the joke. Didn't you, though? Looking for that giant size man thing. Um, so, yeah, and then there is a Mondo Scare Glow as well that was revealed today. That's not what I wanted to do. Wrong button. There we go. Bloop. So, um, yeah, that's real nice looking. I love the panicked and, like, oh, faces. Um it's going to be hard to not pick this one up. Uh, again, Vintage Scare Glow. Got to love it. There's the Mondo Skeletor. There's the Mondo Scare Glow, which looks to be just like a straight up vintage. They did kind of a, a Mondoized version that was pretty cool that came out, I want to say about a year ago, maybe two. <clears throat> Whoa. Luan Toys. Uh, I have that Luan Toys one. Um, it is very good. And I think that is correct. Um, isn't there a Hot Toys convention showcase going on in the coming weeks after SciShowCon? Yes, overseas, I believe. Uh, I'm going to have to resist the Mondo Skeletor, but I may fail. Dude, it looks so cool. Um, I had the Hot Topic exclusive Mondo Skeletor um, that had like a black cloak, and it was so damn cool. And I, I do regret selling that figure um, just because it was so damn cool. What up, Pain Apps? Uh, follow along. Yeah, buddy. Check out that giant size man thing. Is that a cloth cape? On uh, no, not on on uh, Scare Glow. It is on Skeletor. It's a vinyl, if I remember correctly. It does look beautiful. Need those Mondo X Men figures at seven inch scale, right? It would just be fan plastic four, um, which which would be neat. Um, which, by the way, not this week on Tiny Meng Tuesday. This week on Tiny Meng Tuesday, uh, we have King Ginger uh, joining us as the third man. But two weeks, so the following week. Fan Plastic 4 himself will be on T Tiny Meng Tuesday. So Instagram.com slash Fan Plastic 4. Fantastic digital sculptor. We're going to pick, pick the brain of the creator. It'll be good. Uh, Tiny Meng Tuesdays. Info below. Um, but yeah, you know, there was a metric shit ton of wrestling figure reveals. I don't know if anyone in the chat wants to talk about that. If you do, let me know, because I haven't pulled up on Ringside Collectibles' Instagram page right now. Um, it is uh, muy, muy nice looking. Um, I am very, very excited to 
uh, pick up several of them. Uh, but whoa. Oh no. See, and I can't pull them up on Facebook because spoilers will pop up for Motu revelations. Stupid spoilers. Um, but yes, there's a lovely link uh, to check out many, 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 many of the images uh, below. Um, yes, let's talk about the Ultimate Editions. There are so, so many. Um, let me pull them up. Oop. No. Come on. Come on. Why are you freezing? I don't want you to freeze. This is not helpful. I have two He-Mans. Don't ask. I have a problem. And Merman miss out on all the skeletons. Damn. That RVD is insane looking. Let me, you know, I'm just going to do it on ringside, ringside's Instagram page because it will freeze less. <coughs> Oop. 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 We got Ray in his modern gear. We got uh, the, the original bro, Matt Riddle, with his stallion battalion shirt. Um, the Zodiac, which is an insane grab. Uh, they are actually making Andres a Bigfoot. That is uh, coming out. A Trish Stratus. Um, whoops, hold on. There's a Trish Stratus classic, and there's a Chase with her Canadian gear. Um, so bummed about the Ultimate Edition Jeff Hardy. I was so excited for that until they added the butterfly joints. It looks weird on him, and I'm surprised they didn't give like a cover. Um, you have Trader Sergeant Slaughter, Nia Jax with the other tag team strap, the Goon, which was by far um, a big surprise um, for me. Anyways, I, I did not think we'd ever get a Goon figure. Let me see if I can. Yeah, there we go. Um, when they showed up the comic gear, Bianca with the title. Yeah, buddy. Um, yes, follow along. Instagram.com slash ringside C. Um, <laughs> a Dominic, and apparently the Build-A-Figure is going to be a young Dominic. Um, so you can have Eddie Guerrero and Rey Mysterio feud over Rey's son. Um, <laughs> red and yellow uh, return Hulk Hogan. Which I laughed at this image because you can see the peg right there for the ab crunch joint, which is super, super weird. Give me a Marvel Legends. Ah, oh, dude, a Dark Claw would be sick. There is that RVD and his classic tiger singlet. Super dope. Um, you have a Carrion Cross coming, a burnt up, uh, rejuvenated fiend, Chainsaw Charlie, a gay Terry Funk with a nylon over his head, and a chainsaw that he flung around. Um, you got uh, Raquel Gonzalez uh, with her debut figure. Very cool. I think my wife just got home, so you'll probably hear the dogs bark quite a bit. Um, Bianca in her um, comic gear. Super dope. Um, <laughs> you, got, you got the man himself, Earthquake, rocking his Canadian singlet. Um, <laughs> just such a random figure, but I dig it. I wish he'd come in his classic Earthquake, but I know they already did that. Uh, a new Yokozuna for the first time uh, with his bucket. Hopefully Mr. Fuji is not far behind. Uh, Big E um, in his, um, and I think this was technically one of his last New Day gears, like where they were all one unit. He actually has the Get Well Soon for Xavier Woods on there, which is cool, and the Up, Up, Down, Down uh, gear. Earthquake doesn't, I think it's that he's not squat enough. But um, hold on, here comes Stormy. I'm going to stop sharing this for just a second. So I'm going to remove this. Stormy, come here. Come here. You want to say hi? Hello. Hello, Stormy. Oh, oh, oh come on. Yeah. He's so excited. Hi. hi. I'm on the stream. Okay. No, hi. Nobody wants to talk to me, so I decided I was going to talk to people. You want to come say hi? Come, hold on. No. People, people, Come on. Come on. People no. want to wish you a happy birthday. No, they don't. Who wants to see my wife and wish her a happy birthday? Come on. People are people are excited. Come on, just for a moment. Just for a moment. Just for a moment. Are you sure? Yes. Is anybody talking to you? Yes. Ah. This is my wife. Uh, literally, my. Um, that, that, that is her name. But yes, uh, it is her birthday on Sunday. So happy birthday to her. And yes, the comments are just catching up to Stormy stopping by. Yeah, so. I, I saw that the doggo. Yes. I assume nobody was talking about. There are uh, yeah no come here come here come here you got happy birthday wishes coming in from the other side of the world. Woohoo! So. Yes. No, no, no. Her name is not Anna. It's Mayana. Um, A M A I A N N E. So, haha. I can spell it. Seventeen years. 
Um, but yeah. Uh, uh, okay, love you. Bye. Goodbye, lovely people on the internet. Yes. So um, now I have to wrap up because I want to go to hang out. But I'm going to add this back. We're going to buzz through the rest of these reveals, and then I think I will probably sign off. But um, okay, Dakota Kai, new figure. Love the uh, facial expression. Uh, sassy, sassy as can be. Um, <laughs> what? 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 <laughs> um, we got Jimmy Hart as the build a figure uh, from that wave. You got uh, the Boneyard match, AJ Styles with his jeans, which I think this might be the first one with the fully updated tattoo uh, since his daughter was born. <laughs> you you should be pizza full. But you're still a coward, Derek. Coward. Um, we got pizza at the lunch meeting this afternoon. And he left one slice on the plate. Anyways. Um, got to show the wife some attention, Dave. Oh, yes. Um, honestly, we'll probably end up watching some Jeopardy and chilling the fuck out, which will be nice. Um, oh, Je Vinny Mac uh, in his tuxedo. Vint little vintage style Vinny there. Uh, we have one that I'm super excited for, Blackheart Tommaso Ciampa. Um, uh, oh, Jimmy Hart is One Piece? I thought he was one of the build figures Yeah, the Elite Bath, Jimmy Hart. I don't know. But I wish Boneyard AJ came with an, oh shit, Undertaker's behind me face. That would be dope. Um, uh, but yeah. Blackheart Tommaso Ciampa, a really awesome kind of, and not, I don't want to say end run of Hurricane, but his later run uh, in WWE. Um, right? Super Spike. See what you did, Derek. See what you did? Single tear. Um, <coughs> I almost never use the Stoic Heads anymore. I need some drama in my display. Uh, oh, where'd he go? There, there he is. You, you want drama? He edge! Um... <laughs> Hey, Geeker Queen, how's it going? Um, just running through some wrestling figure reveals. I love this one because you get three Batista heads. You get a Raw and SmackDown uh, WrestleMania 21 uh, or WrestleMania yeah WrestleMania 21 contract. Big gold is animal shirt via uh, thumbs so he can Gatling gun around. Um, super 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 stoked for that one. You know, get get it and make a more accurate Drax. I'm just saying. Um, Kane with a cape. Um, this was something that was not used very long, and I am so stupidly stoked for this look. Also, a weirdly unpainted Attitude Era belt, and his voice modulator. These are all really stupid um, little nod accessories, and I am so flippin' stoked for it. Um, and the cape, and that just that classic cane look. I am all about it. Uh, then we move on to classic Taker. Uh, Ministry of Darkness era. We get all three crazy heads. Um, and you, you want drama, you can have the tongue out. You can have, I call it the hungover taker. But then I think that's the best one they got. But again, gear looks insane. Like, look at all, look at all those. <laughs> I remember that voice box, right? Um, Mattel acting like they're all Super 7 with these accessories, right? The ultimate, I will say, the Ultimate Edition um, WWE figures are insanely cool. Stormy, hi. Did you want to come back on and say hi? Here, come here. Come here, love. Yes. There's the Stormy girl. Hold on, hold on. Yes, there's a Stormy. There's a Stormy girl. You want to say hi? You want to say hi up there? What? Okay. Okay, love you, bye. All right. Oh, sorry, off topic, but new interview today with Pixel Dan and Brian Flynn, Team NT Wave 3. Mikey has been at Super 7 Warehouse for seven weeks, but that one figure is still stuck on a boat. Ah, yeah, that's so frustrating. Whoa, Mr. Kerbibble, howdy, Dave. It bothered you a few years ago at a con to sign a piece of wood while my spouse and I sold stuff behind you. Haven't had an opportunity to stop in your streams lately, currently in a D&D game, but wanted to say howdy. Dude, what's up? That's awesome. Um, I vaguely remember that. Um... But yeah, what's up? Say hey to another show. Um, I'm, I get around. Um, check out the Mindwave Comics Facebook page uh, for my event schedule so far. And again, if you guys want to see me at any cons in your neighborhood, um, send me a link or ask for me as a guest um, because I'd love to come and say hey. Um, don't worry. She'll be back again someday, Mitch Falcon. Dog never do knocks down your figures. No, she's really good. She's actually terrified of the figures. Uh, hi, Stormy. Bye, Stormy. I wish they could just ship they haven't instead of having to wait for that fourth figure. Yeah, 
But, you know, uh, is what it is. I'm super excited for that Super 7 wave. Um, it's going to be exciting. I hope we get an Ultimate Edition Rollins soon. That gear, Oh, man. Heist of the Century. Heist of the Century Rollins would be a solid choice. Um, <clears throat> honestly, I would love his Game of Thrones attire, which I, I think is actually the same one. What's up, Independent Man? Uh, moving on from Taker. I think I think I went through what? I think I went through all of Taker's looks. Hold up, hold up, hold up. I lost lost my damn spot. But yes, he's big. He is beefy. He's insane looking. He is the Undertaker. Um, boop. Moving on. Ultimate Ultimate Warrior. Uh, or not? Oh, Fan Takeover Ultimate Edition. So we got the yellow IC and the black winged eagle. We got the uh, crazy hands and uh, both crazy Hellwig faces. Um, there we go. Thank you, Mitch Falcon, dropping them sweet, sweet links. Throw Mindwave Comics some love. Um, it's another way to get a hold of me. So check them out. My dog wasn't allowed in the toy room, and she knows because her wagging tail would not. Yeah, she always comes over here, and I have nothing down below this outside of like fodder and stuff I have organized. So she never knocks over anything. Uh, do you ever go to shows as a volunteer or as a regular attendee if, uh, if it's not work related trip? Um, honestly, it's been a long time. Mainly because if I'm not if I'm not at a show as like a guest or you know working, um, it's hard for me to get away because I like to spend that time with my family. So I usually you know if if it's something um, that I can go do and um, chill out with, uh, I'm I'm usually more apt to to that Blech, to do that. There we go. No fists on warrior. No, um, you know that that is a strange omission for sure. Need to wait for a more vintage Ultimate Edition Taker. Taker Fig seems too big. You might want to say he's large. By the way, that t-shirt should be going up soon. Uh, I wish they would make a more recent Ultimate Cena and finally give him a neck. Uh, there is a new one coming out. We'll, we'll get to it, I believe. Uh, more Motu WWE uh, with a trap jaw, uh, bionic redneck uh, Steve Austin. Um, you have Uber Ray, and then you have China as she -Ra. Uh, which I find funny because they gave her the brush axe. Um, what? <laughs> uh, you're right. They still have time to add this. It's very true. Yes, red bubble. And Teespring. Check them both out. Um, yes, the he's large um, shirt should be going up soon. This is what's replacing the WWE Motu uh, line. Um, basically, uh, a line called WWE Superstars, uh, starting with Honky Tonk Man, a Bray Wyatt as the Mad Hatter, which is a super specific one. Uh, Ric Flair in his robes with his sunglasses. Um, Hollywood Hogan with a tearaway shirt. Um, I am shocked they made a China. They've made a lot of Chinas recently. Um, yeah, like three or four. Uh, Honky Tonk Man with his cloth goods, suit, and a bitching guitar. And uh, then on to retros, we got Mean Gene. We got Mr. T, then on to the movie figs, which I love this John Cena with his greaser look. Um, looks super dope um, from Fast and the Furious. Oh, Luke Rocks, take it easy. Uh, thanks for the stream tonight. Please take care of my Boba Fett man. Hell yeah. Uh, I'll let you know when it gets here. Um, we got Rock and Cena from Fast and the Furious. We have uh, Roddy Piper from They Live, which I'm so stoked for that John Nada. I'm relieved the Motu line is ending. Can focus on Ultimate Edition. Yes, and Andre the Giant as Sasquatch um, from the Bionic or billion dollar million dollar man, billion six million dollar man. There we go. Uh, very stoked for this. Uh, we got Roman again from Fast and the Furious, and a Scorpion King. That F9 Cena head would be a good for Peacemaker. Oh hell yeah! Um, instantaneous swap for me. Thought it was a rock from Be Cool. I mean, you could use it for whatever you like. Um, there's John Cena from Fast 9. All his jacked up glory. You, you want a cool thug or something just to randomly throw in the back. There you go. You have uh, Roddy Roddy Piper as John Nada from They Live. Very cool. You have The Rock from... Oh, sorry. He's from Hobbs and Shaw. I think Roman is also from Hobbs and Shaw. Um, still a Fast and the Furious franchise movie. Uh, there is China with her brush axe. <coughs> Very cool. Uh, the bionic redneck. 
Stone Cold Steve Austin. Very neat using those trap draw accessories. Uh, Ray, Ray Mysterio. A little love for his silver and red. Super, super cool. I've been I love the little mini comics too. Yeah, seen it from past night. Uh, here is the ultimate Hogan. Um, which is, is pretty rad. Uh, it's kind of unfortunate because they reuse the Hollywood Hogan sculpt, and so he has the stubble on these, which is kind of a bummer, because this is definitely like uber mega baby face uh, Hulk Hogan. So it's like, oh man, I really wish you guys had just, just swapped that up a little bit. Does any of the proceeds from the <laughs> trying to figure <laughs> go to friendly or estate? Ever since she passed, I imagine it does. I imagine they have some sort of contract. Here is that Ultimate Edition Jeff Hardy um, looking swole. This is the buffest uh, Jeff Hardy has ever looked, just because he is a narrower framed dude. Um, not knocking Jeff in the least. Um, also, I'm kind of annoyed they they included this this like paint rub spot on his forehead. Kind of a strange choice in my opinion. Badass looking figure though. Um, lots of use of that spinner belt um, coming around. And then we move into the digital mock-ups. My knowledge of WWE is slim, so this is where I sit in the corner. Sorry, Baylor. We'll get there. Don't worry. I already have the NECA John Nada, so this was a pass, but a great alternate. Dude, I have a custom 1-6 scale one I did, and that makes me, makes me happy. But I'm still going to grab this Mattel. Um, Isaiah Swerve Scott. Uh, gotta love Swerve. Uh seen him work a bunch on the indies so stoked that he's been absolutely killing it um in nxt uh ember moon not not my favorite figure i i think this one will improve a lot um as they move into production i hope uh because she's so insanely cool and so insanely talented <coughs> um mandy rose with her short hair um again another cool looking figure um she doesn't have her long longer hair um so a little more articulation in the neck. New Keith Lee with his singlet top for his main roster run. Um, as new Santos Escobar. Again, the cool thing is they're doing Santo Escobar and they're doing like his his crew. So there's uh, they need to make an elite Mandy and Dana from their tag team run. <coughs> I think that we're gonna get it. Just saying. Um, <laughs> then we're getting you know Walking Wild um, with both his paint and his like lucha mask. Um, same thing with Raul, um, and again with his paint and his mask. So I'll be I'll be picking up these even just to, if not for anything else, but just to have kind of like a cool lucha gang because that'd be neat. Uh, <laughs> the championship showdown between Taker and Brett. I really want to see this Brett as a physical figure because the digital render looks goofy to me. Um, I love this Taker; um, it blows me away. Um, again, they're basic figures, but I love the gear that they're in. But yeah, there's something something off about that Brett. Um, Rhea Ripley and Charlotte Flair. Again, digital renders. So this looks oddly bare for a Rhea Ripley gear. Um, so that's kind of weird. Um, oh, upgraded Spider-Man suit is in stock on BBTS for anyone who doesn't have it. There we go. Um, fingers crossed my local comic shop will be getting it soon. Brett does look kind of bad, Ryan. Uh <laughs> Bill Goldberg and Drew McIntyre. I honestly think this looks more like Michael Elgin, um, which is unfortunate. Uh, but also, it's Goldberg in his gym shorts, which is weird to see. Uh, we got the Street Profits um, throwing that smoke. Um, awesome looking basic renditions of the, the tag team that has seemingly just disappeared. Um, popping over here, we got Kushida in his full on um, uh, Back to the Future gear. Uh, which is dope because he'll have shades, which I'm hoping maybe they reuse those shades for um, Brett eventually. Um, oh, there you go. Old Berg. Old Berg. Um, I hope the new Elite Drew will have double jointed elbows. Me too. Um, the Elite uh, MVP in his return gear. Very cool. Um, I have the Elite, I think it's Series 2 or 3 MVP, so this will be a nice update. Uh, Roman Reigns, uh, the Tribal Chief, uh, with his gold gauntlet and the Blue Universal title. Super stoked for a modernized Roman Reigns. Whoa. We need a Goldberg with a new sculpt. They never get it right. Ultimate Edition WCW Goldberg. Yeah. Oh, okay. Is that what happened? I, I missed it. 
I WWE, I have to catch on replays because I don't have cable. So <laughs> it's one of those things where I, if I miss one, it's like, mm -hmm, it's gone. I think I just made it glitch by doing that. That was weird. Um, moving on, we got Bobby Lashley. Um, as the champ with his Hurt Business gear, super stoked. I'm hoping we'll get an MVP in a suit to go with him. Let me rephrase, Otis injured Montez shoulder. No Wendy Richter. Um, they, I swear they did a Wendy Richter figure. Um, not too long ago. Uh, Damian Priest, um, his first Elite figure, very cool looking. Um, an Ultimate, or not an Ultimate, but an Elite Drew McIntyre with his kilt and his sword. Um, as well as his bracers and his ah, hands, so you can do really dramatic posing, um, but you don't have the screaming head to go with it. Uh, finally, a vintage Big Boss Man uh, in his Cobb County, Georgia uniform, uh, looking killer. Uh, Bronson Reed, um, again, <coughs> the colors just pop on this so well, um, so I'm really, really hopeful to see the final and hope that all those Deco hits stay true through um a mustafa uh, mustafa ali figure um it's one of those weird things where like you uh, finally give him his like gimmick shirt and retribution is all but gone i feel like these days but um a really cool figure of mustafa ali so very stoked uh randy orton is mania gear with his friggin night vision goggles and chair um, again, very cool, very clean looking figure. I hope that head scan looks that good uh, in production because that would be dope. Um, who did see Bronson Reed? Uh, ringside collectibles, wrestling figures, damage faction. Very good place to, to grab some good deals. Need that big boss man for my horse. <laughs> That's fair. Um, moving on. Reck more uh, of re reckoning. I'm trying to remember what is her name? Mia. Uh, Mia Yim. Um, cool figure. I, I just didn't dig the gimmick, but a, a really damn good looking figure. Um, Chief J Strongbow with an actual headdress as opposed to the next classic superstar that was just this like really crappy printed fabric. Uh, is that Randy Orton? Randy in underwear or trunks, tidy whities A little bit of both. Um, but this Chief J Strongbow is dope looking. Comes with his uh, tomahawk. Just great looking figure. Um, then moving on, we got Jay Uso uh, with his lay and whatnot. Again, a, a sick looking figure. It's been a while since we got an elite um, Uso, so that'll be pretty dope. Again, Tommaso Ciampa with his mask. Very super dope. This is the ringside exclusive, so I'm assuming he'll have his vest and everything. Um, very stoked for that. And then it goes through a couple pre-orders that are up. Moving on to Keith Lee. Um, this is Survivor Series 2021, so Keith in his main run. A really weird-looking Bret Hart, which is apparently from Survivor Series. Chief J makes uh, up for that Jackster. Yeah, no kidding. Um, I don't remember this color scheme for Bret ever. Um, it's just super weird. It's an elite. It, it's... I, I don't know. I like this head sculpt because I think... I don't know. I think there's a lot of possibility there, but there's something off. We need more pink folding chairs. I agree. Honestly, if I were to get this, I probably would get it and give that chair to my Stevie Richards pink custom. Uh, and Hulk Hogan in his old school gear. <coughs> when Hulkamania was running wild, Hulk rules with the king of the derp faces. Just, um, I mean, I, I do love how this figure looks. There's such incredibly crazy amounts of detail. <laughs> that face, though... Ah, damn it. It looks like he's really excited for some pudding or something. I don't know. And that is a tremendously creepy picture. <laughs> Ryan Sweeney. Sorry, I need to slow down. <laughs> That's okay. You're slowing down. I'm speeding up. We got Bailey as the role model uh, with her uh, women's champion and her like crazy cool like headdress. Or not that headdress tiara. I don't know what to call that. But cool to see her in her heel gear um, in another iteration. Super dope head scan. Um, yeah, just a great looking figure. I like that she has her SmackDown uh, wristband. Ultimate Hogan from Wish. <laughs> no, he's just excited to go to Pasta Mania, brother. Um, and then Alexa Bliss uh, in her um, 
kind of fiend gear. And then here are some turnarounds of Kane in the cape with his voice modulator and everything. And then Taker, which I think wraps that up. Um, but yeah, uh, like I said, I think I am going to hop off so I can hang out with the missus for a bit before she crashes for the evening. Um, also, here's that uh, pre-order for the return of Superman. Matter of fact, number 164, Cyborg Superman. Uh, so definitely check that out. Um, lots of cool new pre-orders that went up. What was that Steve Austin slash Trap Drop figure? That is from the Motu WWE uh, line that I believe is a Walmart exclusive. Um, that's, I think, the final wave of that before it turns into WWE Superstars, which will basically maintain the 5.5-inch uh, figure aesthetic. Um, but it'll be straight up wrestlers, so it'll be like the old AWA Remco's. So very cool. Um, lots of crazy, crazy stuff revealed. Lots of cool, crazy news. Um, make sure to give Robo some love because the weekly that is coming up tomorrow, or I'm guessing maybe already up on Patreon, um, is going to be a doozy, and he worked his ass off on it. So check that out. Um, Shav, what's up? Um, <laughs> I'm just about to sign off. Uh, thank you everybody for stopping by and hanging out on this random, random stream. Um, I hope, oh, it is already up on Patreon, right on. So, uh, patreon.com slash the foosh, check them out. Um, they're good people, but yeah, I will, uh, I will be back on Monday with Robo where we'll probably catch up on the ridiculous amount of stuff, uh, that is being revealed this weekend. Um, and probably some of the stuff that we talked today. Shav, no worries. You can catch the replay. It's all good. Uh, but as always, throw a like, follow, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Uh, if you got anything you want to talk about, drop me a message. We can talk toys. Um, but I will be back uh, Monday night, Monday Foosh Live. Uh, I don't know if there'll be a post show because we might run long again. We ran almost two hours this last week. So, yes. Thank you, everybody, for stopping by. Thank you, everybody in the chat. Always a pleasure. Have a great weekend. Um, stay good. Be nice to each other. And, uh, yeah. Much love for Minnesota. Good night. Also, thank you for wishing my wife a happy birthday. I think it made her day.